Hey, you gotta let me in. I just got back from the worst date ever. No, I didn't get stood up or anything. It was just a bad date. Nah, I met him with a club downtown. You know, the one a couple streets away from my old apartment. They were there when we were celebrating Lee's new job offer? Well, I'll tell you what happened. If you let me in. Well, I'm kind of exaggerating. It wasn't like it went bad. It wasn't even close to the worst state I've ever had. It was just... It didn't go great. You know? It was just mediocre. Like, the conversation was... I don't know. We weren't arguing or anything, but... It was so boring. It was like we had no idea who each other were. Yeah, I know. Dates are supposed to be for getting to know each other or whatever. But it was so awkward. I swear there was more awkward silence than trying to find something to save an actual conversation. It kind of felt like trying to talk to one of those dolls of a pull string in a sandbox where they just keep saying the same thing. Like, our conversation just went in more circles with one of those little loading screen thingies. I know! I really figured that we'd have more chemistry after all the times so we've, uh, you know, been together. But we didn't. Honestly, it was pretty disappointing. Of course not! Why would I tell them that? That'd be such a dick move. I just thought that we obviously didn't have a future together, so we should just stop seeing each other. Thankfully, they agreed with me. So that's the end of that. But what do you mean? Of course that's better than telling them they're boring. Well, it's not worse. Well, then what would you have said, huh? How would you handle that situation? <sighs> that's such a cop-out. You can't just say that you wouldn't get in a situation like that. You don't know if you would. I mean, yeah, we have different approaches to dating and all that. But you can't say that you'll never get into a relationship like that. What if you meet someone at a club or something and both of you just hit it off and you skip the normal get-to-know-you stuff? I know that it's not your usual style, but you can't say that you would never hook up with someone and see where that takes you. What? Whoa, hold on. What, what do you mean? You can't just say something like that and not tell me more. Of course I'm surprised. You never hook up with anyone. And now you're telling me you did? That's so... I don't even know where to start. Tell me everything. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wait. So, you hooked up with them, but they ghosted you after you told them you asked if they wanted to be more? What the hell is wrong with them? Are they fucking stupid? What do I mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? What I mean is that they could have had you, and they didn't want you. That has to be the stupidest goddamn thing I've ever heard. Because you're you. You're the fucking best. You're the person everyone wants to be with. You are... And what kind of moron wouldn't want you? Of course I mean it. I mean, you're nice. You're funny. You're understanding. You're so fun to talk to. You're exactly the kind of person everyone wants to date. You're the person I wish I'd gone on a date with tonight. I... I said that I wished I'd gone on a date with someone like you. N no, I didn't. I said someone like you. I didn't say I wanted to d date you. I d don't want to. <sighs> Fuck. There's no way you'll believe me. Is that? 
Yeah. That's what I figured. Fucking Freudian slip. <sighs> well, my cat's off a bag now. No use trying to hide it now, huh? So, here's the honest truth. I have feelings for you. Pretty strong feelings, actually. Um, romantic feelings. For a while now, it's been... Oh God, it's been years now. I had the biggest crush on you through high school. And even now, I still can't get over you. You're just... Fuck, you're everything I've ever wanted. It... Yeah, I'm serious. What do you mean? Oh, I... Uh... No, I, I... I understand. It seems kind of weird coming from me, doesn't it? I have a reputation for, uh... <laughs> wandering around, I guess. I can't really blame you for not thinking I'm serious. Never really expressed any interest in you like that, so I can see why it doesn't make sense, but... But... Fuck. It... It's you. It's always been you. I was so goddamn stupid of it, I didn't even notice until the damage was done. <sighs> I just... <laughs> I realized I had feelings for you when you were still in grade school, and I was so, so stupid. When I realized I had a crush on you, I I was terrified. I mean, you were my best friend. How the hell was I supposed to tell you that I wanted to be more than your friend? If you hadn't felt the same way, you and I both know we would have gone our separate ways and never talked again. I couldn't risk that. I couldn't ruin our friendship. Not like that. Not when it was so much easier to just hide it and keep being a friend. But years kept going by, and even when I knew we were both mature enough to handle it, I... I couldn't. I was still too scared. So, I tried to do... Second best thing. I tried to date someone like you. In retrospect, it's a terrible idea. And I know that, but I just couldn't help it. And I mean, it wasn't just because they were like you, but there's always people who were like you in some way or another. And when I tried to think about what I'd like about them, I'd always say the same things I liked about you. I kept telling myself that I was dating around to figure out what I wanted in a person. But the truth is... I already knew what I wanted. I wanted you. I still do. That's why I can't date anyone for more than a month. Because the thought that you're single and... I could be dating you instead as me going batshit, and I, I break it off with whoever I'm seeing because it will always be you, and it isn't fair to them. It will always be you, and no one else can replace you because how the fuck could I want anyone but you when you're right in front of me? How could there be anyone else when all I see is you? You are my everything. But I've already fucked that up, but I can't have you because how could you want me? How could you want to date someone who's broken as many hearts as I have? How? <laughs> how could you love me? How could you love who I am? <laughs> hey. Hey. Come on, you, you don't have to hug me. You don't have to do it. I don't need any comforting. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I do.
Uh, why do you have to be so perfect? Well, I know you're not perfect. That's what makes you perfect. If you were actually perfect perfect, I'd probably find you a lot more annoying. Well, yeah. I know that no one's perfect. That's impossible, but... Oh, wait. Are you trying to get me to say that nobody, myself included, can be perfect so I feel better? No, not really. I appreciate the thought, but... Oh, I've hurt so many people. I've made people cry. That's not something a good person does. I'm not just not perfect. I'm... I'm just an asshole. What are you... Of course I put an effort in with everyone I was with. Even if it was just a quick thing, I always tried to make a real connection. No! No, I'd only cut it off after it became obvious that they weren't going to work out. I just didn't want to string them along. Especially when I had feelings for you. I didn't deserve that. I mean, yeah, it could be worse, but it doesn't mean I'm a good person. Well, then if I'm not a bad person, then what am I? Just a person? A stupid person, maybe. <laughs> so, I'm a well-meaning idiot, then? A fool with a heart of gold? Well, not gold, but... Yeah? You think it is gold? Well, I'm flattered. Coming from you, it makes me really happy to hear that. I think you've got a heart made of precious metals too. <laughs> well, I uh, guess I'd better get going. I don't want to overstay my welcome. I didn't mean to come over here and annoy you. Well, I mean, I did, but not quite like this. Whoa, hey, what, what are you doing? Come on, let go of me. I should really leave now, I said way too much tonight. You really want me to stay? Are you sure? After everything I've said? You really want to give it a shot? You want to give me a shot? Yeah, I... I'd love to. I've wanted to be with you for so long. If you're willing to give us a shot, I'm more than happy to try. Cuddle? Yeah, of course I want to. Here, on the couch. Uh, yeah. You can wrap your arms around me if you want to. <sighs> This is nice. Can I, um... Can I lay my hat on your shoulder? And talk you closer? <laughs> I hope this isn't weird to say, but... I really like having you this close. I like how it feels to have my arms wrapped around you. <laughs> oh, you, you just... I can't say I expected you to do that. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Can, um... Can we do that again? <laughs> Wow, you know, 
This isn't where I expected tonight to go. But I'm much happier with this than whatever I was expecting. This is a lot better. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and turn something on. Though don't be surprised if I fall asleep before we're halfway through. It's been an eventful evening. And you're so warm and I'm way too comfy to not pass out. Oh yeah? Are we racing then? Whoever falls asleep first wins? <laughs> Alright, you're on then. Three, two, one, go. But before we go to sleep, I just want you to know that I'm gonna make you breakfast when you wake up, okay? I'm really good with pancakes and ash browns. <laughs> Hey guys and gals, Zen here. Just wanted to say thank you so much for listening to this audio. And this one was so fucking good. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so fucking cute. Holy shit, it was fucking adorable. It was just great. It was fucking amazing. Oh, it was so fucking good. I fucking love that so much. Um, it was <laughs> so much fun to do. Um, anyway, anyway, um, before I say anything, Shout out to the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Soft Like Static. Once again, I've done like fucking a million of her scripts now. Uh, for writing this script, um, I don't have to say that uh, she is like an amazing fucking script writer. Like, so good. So fucking good. Um, just another banger from her. I don't even know how, how old this, this script is. It is, um, it is three months ago, wow, um, three months ago, yeah, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, just a really cute, wholesome, not, not, yeah, it was, it was wholesome, yeah, it was just a really good script, um, I hope I did the character justice and, and all of that stuff, I think I did, kind of, maybe, kind of, who knows? Um, I think I did okay with it. I, th I think I did alright. I, I, I think I did alright, Shayla. Yeah, I think I did fine. Um, it was maybe like a little bit too loud and, and fucky over at the start. Uh, may maybe a little bit too like energetic at the start and then near the end it was like a bit too on the, the low end. Like like a bit a bit too on the fucking... The, 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 the thing? I don't know, that, that's just the way I'm feeling about it. Well, I don't know, you guys can fucking comment below and all that stuff. Um. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyway, uh, how... Sorry if you heard that I next up on my mic. Um, anyway, how are you guys doing? You guys having a good day so far? All of that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Um. I'm having an okay day, I guess. Today is uh, Friday, as of the time of recording this, the seventh of October, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing too bad, I guess. Um, fucking, what's it called? I'm trying to think of what happened. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing really crazy happened, I guess. It, it was fine. Um, well, actually, no. Uh. One of my co-workers actually uh, left today. He's going to Canada. And uh, I, I didn't know him for very long. Well, not, I would say very long. I, I knew him for about a year because I joined a year ago. Um, but he was, he's, he's such a nice guy. He's fucking great. I fucking love him. Um, he's so fucking great. So, unfortunately, he's gone to Canada. Which is good for him. I hope he... You know, hope Canada goes well for him and all of that stuff, and, you know, he's, he's such a great guy, I fucking love him. Um, but, but yeah, um, anyway, uh, yeah, I've also, I'm gonna meet my dad, uh, for dinner in about, like, half an hour. Uh, yeah, half an hour. Um, cause my, my dad's visiting, um, and I haven't seen him in a year. 
And, y- you know, I kind of just want to see him. Like, you know, I haven't seen him in a fucking year, so, yeah. Y- you know, it makes sense to all of that stuff, yeah? Um. Yeah. Sorry, I'm really fucking dumb when it comes to speaking. Um. Yeah, anyway, I, I don't know what to say, so uh, I guess we'll go with the question of the day, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. And, um, today's question of the day is, uh, I don't know. Uh, today's question of the day is, uh, what's, hmm, what's the, what's the worst date you've been on? Is that a thing? Um, yeah, well, what's like the worst that you've been on? If you've ever been on a date, <laughs> um, I cannot really answer this question since I've never been on a fucking date because I'm like a fucking incel. I'm not an incel, I swear. I'm not an incel, I swear. I'm not an incel, I fucking swear. I'm not an incel. Maybe. Okay, I kind of am. Um,. Yeah, <laughs> um, I, I can't answer the question because I've never been on a date, so yeah, um, I don't think like some other bad experience, so, mm. I don't know, I can't really think of any like bad experience where I've been out somewhere and it's been shit, um, and obviously like, eh, eh, you know, you gotta go to some shit place every once in your life, but I can't think of like, one on the top of my head, so uh, I, I guess I, I guess uh, I'm I'm fucking myself. Yeah. Um. Anyways, so uh, I should probably get going because I kind of need to get. Well, I don't have to get ready, um, but I just kind of want to get most of the editing done before I go out because I, I I haven't told my dad about my YouTube channel yet. <laughs> So, um, I guess I'm telling him today, uh, yeah, and hopefully you'll be proud of me and all that, and if not, then oh well. Um, yeah, cause like, funny story, um, I used to own, well, I mean, I still, well, no, I, I don't run anymore, but I, I used to run, like, a, uh, and like, a, an Instagram, like, gaming account or something, and I got, like, 5,000 followers or something on it, which is shit. Well, no, it's decent. When I was, like, in year 9 or whatever, it was like, holy shit, 3,000, what the fuck? Um, but I, I was, like, fucking over the moon about it. And when I told my dad... I wasn't making any money off it, by the way. I am making money off this. Um, when I told my dad, he was like, oh, that's nice. And then he just started taking the piss out of me for it. It was, like, a jokey, jokey piss take, but... You know, I mean, it still kind of hurt, to be honest. <laughs> It is, no, it's not that big of a deal. It's it's got kind of annoying every now and then. But it's not it's not like I was fucking crying myself to sleep over it or anything. You know, it was just got on my nerves a teeny bit. And I I don't really things don't really get on my nerves that much. So yeah, I was saying that I'm I am a fucking idiot. Um, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Um, my lovely people, my my lovely followers. Um, yeah, I, I should probably go now, because I just want to get shit done, you know? So, uh, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Maybe. Well, for my Patreon people, I don't know. Because, uh, I don't really know if I can record when my dad's around, because, like, you know, it's my fucking dad. He, he likes to sit in my room and, you know, watch shit with me. We watch shit together, yada, 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 yada. Play shit together. Um... So I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, I probably will be able to record, you know, uh, you know, j- just ignore what I'm saying, because I probably will be able to record and upload and all of this shit still. So, you know, just take, just ignore what I'm saying, because I'm being a fucking idiot, as per usual. Um, holy shit, that girl has boobies, what the fuck, dude? Anyway, anyway, enough about me. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. And, um, yeah.
I don't know what else to say. See ya. Bye.